Hello and welcome to another edition of Feel This Pain. I'm Ken McKim and tonight we're going to be talking a little bit about something known as multiple sclerosis or MS. So what is it? Well, basically put, it's when your own immune system attacks your central nervous system by damaging what's called the myelin sheath that surrounds your nerves, which causes scarring or sclerosis. The more damage is done to the nerves, the more likely that the nerve impulses that travel to and from the brain and the spinal cord will be interrupted, which is what causes the myriad of symptoms that most MS sufferers experience. Some famous people that you might have heard of who have the condition are Montel Williams, actress Terry Garr, and actress Jamie Lynn Sigler of The Sopranos. So who is affected by MS? Well, MS is thought to affect more than 2.3 million people worldwide. It's very hard to get an exact number though, because there's no one test to diagnose MS, and even when it is diagnosed, there's not currently any kind of national registry that tracks MS cases in the United States. The National MS Society is trying to get a national registry established, and I'll go ahead and link to their page and what they're doing about that in the description box below. So what kind of symptoms are we talking about? Well, among the more common ones are things like fatigue, numbness or tingling, weakness, involuntary muscle spasms, vision problems, dizziness and vertigo, bladder and bowel problems, and sexual dysfunction, to add insult to injury. About two-thirds of people who have MS report experiencing nerve pain with their MS, and the pain can be continuous and steady or sudden and irregular. Some examples of sudden irregular pain would be things like shooting pain, uh, shock-like pain, or even searing pain. Some people report the feeling of a stabbing pain in their cheek, jaw, or eye. Now, these kinds of pain can be caused by things that you wouldn't expect, like the weight of your bed sheets, or a cold breeze across your skin, exercise, or a change in temperature, chewing your food, or even just brushing your teeth. Examples of more constant pain would be things like a constricting feeling in your chest or abdomen, sometimes referred to as the MS hug, continuous burning in the arms and legs, back pain, and painful muscle spasms where your hands momentarily become rigid and claw-like, or your leg just suddenly kicks out for no reason. So what are the treatment options? Well, as you might expect, there are a lot of medications. I mean, there are so many kinds of medications. Uh, there's injectable meds, oral meds, and infused medications where you get them through an IV. Now, the ones you've most likely heard of are Neurontin and Baclofen. So, sometimes the burning, aching, and the uh, MS hug sensation can be treated with Neurontin. Uh, things like muscle spasms or cramps can sometimes be treated with Baclofen. Of course, your doctor will tailor a treatment regimen that's right for you. Just like the disease of MS, uh, people's access to and reaction to the medication treatments that are available are very different from one person to another. So what's it like to live with this? Well, some people have described it as like walking around all day in a suit of armor while wearing glasses that are the wrong prescription for them and shoes that are too small for their feet. So let that sink in a little bit. Other people have issues with balance and coordination when walking, accidentally tripping over absolutely nothing, or staggering around like they've just polished off a 12-pack. Montel Williams recounted in an interview that he did with People Magazine how he repeatedly contemplated suicide because of the pain he was in from his multiple sclerosis. And I'm reasonably sure he's not alone in that sentiment. So is MS that devastating for everyone who has it? No. For some people, the symptoms can be very mild, an occasional numbness or tingling in their extremities. For others, the symptoms can leave them wheelchair-bound, unable to walk, and can eventually be fatal. Regardless, if you know someone with MS, the best thing you can do for them is A, learn a little bit about their illness so you can discuss it intelligently with them, and B, 
treat them with the compassion and the respect that they deserve. So that's it. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. If you want to make sure that you don't miss any of my videos, I would advise you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And while you're there, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and, and share it with other people. You can follow me at 